Hello, Christian Brunner. I think you are working with the IE Intech, a research institute from Austria, and you are heading an international research uh, network with 45 experts, something like that, and you're working on process heat, solar process heat. And you just mentioned in your presentation that the largest solar process heat installation is in Chile and it has a 40,000 square meters, a really big installation. So is this the trend in the industry now? Yes, for sure. <clears throat> so Chile and especially the mining industry, there's a big potential for large scale uh, applications. We have uh, good temperature for the processes, so, so low temperature um, parts and also um, the fossil fuel price is quite low. So this is a really big potential here to install large scale systems here. So we also hear that uh, there is solar brewed beer um, a lot. So what, what are breweries about? Why do they use solar? The yeah, breweries, they're, they're really, really fixed to the locations. For example, here in Europe, they have um, uh, really a long history here. And so um, they have the, the parts that they not, not will be moving somewhere else uh, in, in other, other countries, other continents. So this is one good thing uh, also to invest in, 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 in technologies like solar thermal technology. And on the, on the other hand, um, Nearly all the uh, processes in a brewery are below 100 degrees. So um, this is an optimal temperature range for solar thermal applications. So it seems um, you said it's a long-term investment. So can uh, solar thermal compete in the industrial sector already with gas and oil at this moment? Uh, it depends. Um, I think on the one hand it depends on the location where the uh, installation will be situated. Uh, on the other hand it depends on the temperature range uh, where you want to install the, uh, the collector field um, depending on the technology, solar thermal technology, um, and then of course on the uh, price uh, of the fossil fuels. So this is uh, let's say uh, a crucial point uh, is necessary on the one hand to have realistic prices um, um, uh, on the fossil fuel part and on the, on the other hand it would be great also to have uh, support like for example in Austria there's sort of the support schemes for large scale systems uh, on the solar side. I think your task, like your research work in this international network ended after four years. What were the highlights during this work? So on the one hand, um, we developed a database on existing um, solar uh, applications. So at the moment, we have about 155 applications worldwide, um, which are yeah, um, described on this database by technology, by the country where it is situated, um, then also where it is integrated, in which process is integrated, which company did this work. Um, and I think this is a very good and, and comprehensive uh, overview of, uh, of all existing uh, plans. So this is available online? Yeah, it's available online. It's on uh, www.ship-plans.info. You can find this information. Uh, another highlight um, was the development of an integration guideline. This is a, um, a report or a guideline uh, which can be downloaded also from the um, task uh, website. Um, and where you can find um, the, uh, the description for the procedure, how to integrate solar thermal. On the one hand, uh, the hydraulic schemes, um, how to integrate the, the technology. Uh, it's information about different collector um, technologies uh, and which technology, which collector technologies should apply for which process. Uh, and also information about uh, financial schemes, about tendering, so really a comprehensive uh, um, uh, information for planners, for um, people who want to design solar uh, applications. So you had a very disciplinary team in your task, in your research network? Yeah, this is um, very necessary to have this. On the one hand, uh, experts from the solar side, of course, it's necessary. But for uh, solar process heat, it's very important also to have uh, um, engineering experts. So people who knows about the processes in the industry, knows about um, the technology which are used uh, for different production lines. And this work together, this uh, brings then really a successful um, yeah, um, uh, best practice examples, for example. Perfect. Thank you very much. Good luck with all your work. Thank you very much.